Hey you guys, this is David over here at Slappy Studios and I'm going to do one more camera projection only because I had a client that came to me and he wanted a 2D projection turned into 3D and I told him, you know, he was asking me about if, if I should take it into Maya and remodel it and blah blah blah. So I told him, look, I can just do it real quick here in Nuke. So, um... I just wanted to give a quick uh, holler off to Sean Steiner over at the Foundry. He's a good friend of mine. And um, if you're looking to get into new, give him a call. All right. So here we go. This is a quick, well, not a quick, but this is a 2D image that I got. And so here's the, here's the graph once again. And what's different about this is you got the door on the left and this wall on the right. So what I did, I rotoed out the wall, rotoed out this wall, modeled what you need to model in on the side, and you can. I did it on this side because the client he wanted to see what was on. He wanted to go over on that uh, camera flyby as well over there too. So I got a cube, and I actually got a toilet seat that I modeled in Maya, and um, so that's what makes it look like it's sticking out in 3D. All right. So basically, here here it goes. All right. So the drill with this one is we have to roto out this wall, this door, and this wall. Do the floors and the walls. And if you want, you can put a a um, a card back there, roto that out, and put a card back there with something, uh, you know, like hills and stuff. So all right. So here's what we're going to do. On here, go and create a roto paint. And turn off auto key. On this one, you're going to leave your RGB on. And now you're going to create another roto paint. And this one, you're going to turn off red, green, and blue again. I'm going to copy that over for your walls and your floor. Floor. your busy tool overlap them a little bit is, is okay all right so here I should have just did this in the beginning, no animation. Sorry about that. You still want any ro um, animation going on in your rotos. So you can see the little A is gone now. So, all right, so now you want to um, name these. So let's call this one floor. floor, left wall, and right wall. Okay, I'm going to pipe those into that roto paint. 
hold control down, drag that out. All right. So now you're going to add a pre mold. And you're going to copy that over three times. And you should add a camera. But don't plug it in yet. Alright, now we're going to go use a Project 3D. Copy that on down the line. Plug that in. and a card. Geometry, card, plug those in. All right, everything's plugged in. Time to plug your camera in. Plug your camera in. Hold control down. Just make it look a little nicer and neater. All right, so you get your camera plugged in. Get everything hooked up. Oh, you want to add a scene. Plug your cards into your scene. Whoops. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to go to 3D. And set your cards to zero, zero, put these two textured with lines, each one, that way you can see it. So floor card you want to rotate it 90 degrees and scale it up two and two push it to the end of the grid Rotate this one 90 degrees. And this one. So this is fast and dirty, but it gets the job done. It's 
just a little bit below that grid. All right. Now we can take camera one. Project it. Holding control down, you can turn, there it is right there. So now the fun part. In this roto here, in this roto paint right there, go back to 2D mode, and you got to take your clone stamp tool and paint that out. So here's what I mean. You gotta paint what's not there. Holding control down, left mouse button, and left mouse button, I mean uh, left mouse button and shift. There you go. So now, line that up. and you want to paint into that wall. So the shadow is going through right there. So basically you're modeling what's in behind that wall. And then you got to go this way too with this border. A little tricky, but can be done. So go ahead and go forward on this one, and then you can paint the shadows back down on what's going on over there. just right here keep going with it because if the client wants to really go in there just you'll have it modeled why not so here's the shadow get it right here Oops. So this is a little tricky in here. So come up here. And just paint that wall out. You know, go all the way with it. talk all right so here is what I did I wrote the half of the toilet out half of this little cupboard that whole door and that wall so I kind of just bunded it right on there I know I didn't do that good of a job but so what um, I'm gonna fix that up a little bit more and um, now I'm gonna roto the door and that wall back in I'll show you what I mean So this one you're going to pipe into the read note without going through the roto paint. So this one, the door, you're going to roto out. Take the bezier, go to here.
If you hold control down, you can bend your busy, eh? So that's rotoed and your wall. And that wall is over here. So you want to roto that out. So grab your Bezier. This one's a little easier. Let's get right on that. Shift Z tightens that up. Okay. All right, so on this one, we're going to add a pre malt. Copy that over into there. Project 3D. Tie these into your camera. And now you're going to Now you have to make a card for your two doors. So go to geometry, card, copy that over, pipe those in there, and pipe those into your scene. All right, so now if you go into 3D mode, you literally got to put those cards. Let's, let's knock these cards down to zero. We got to put them. Where you think that door is? You can see that door coming into place right when I see that door right there. There's the door because I'm rotoing it in. And here's the other one. You'll see the wall coming in. As soon as I knock this down, put this to texture with lines. Put that one texture with lines. So you're going to see the wall coming in right here. Watch. So now, grab this. Here it comes. So now when you go into 2D mode, Come back. So basically, you're setting it up exactly where the camera would be is if you were taking the picture yourself. So you can kind of see that there it is right there. There's your there's your projection right there. Now I'm just going to add a cube. I'm going to add a toilet seat right there, so now when you bring the camera in, it'll go. And you can, like, see, you can see all that stuff that you painted out, and this door will be over here like that. And if you wanted to do a flyby like this, you can go that way, you can go this way. Let me set it up. And let me get my cube in there. 
So now I'm going to stick a scan line render in. Take my viewer down here. All right, now I'm going to bring in a cube for this guy right here. So I'm going to do roto paint, same as usual. Let's turn auto key off. So we're plugging it outside of this roto, because that roto has an alpha. And so this one, let's do a pre molt. Plug it in. If I project 3D. And plug this into our camera. And now we're going to get a cube from the geometry. Plug that in. Plug that in there. Double click on our cube. Put it to textures with lines. Put the rows and columns to zero. The mesh. Whatever you want to call it. Go back to 3D mode. And there is your So you can uniform scale that down. And you'll see when we bring that in, darn it. thing I hate about this in Maya, you can just grab it and move it. Here, kind of messes you up. Alright, so here we go. My bad. One thing I forgot to do is go back to 2D mode. Turn your projection paint off by using D. Roto that out in your paint node. Grab that, grab your Bezier. You don't have to do perfect, but get it close. All of the lines around. All right, now when you go into 3D mode, you can see your box or that little cupboard, that stand, kind of popping out now.
All right, so now we're back. So what I did was I duplicated my camera, piped it into my scanline render, and I'm going to animate camera 2. So camera 2 is all dialed in. If you close these out, all your stuff will go away. So here is the, my camera animation. I forgot to tell you one thing, which was don't forget to click on your roto paint and select all of your clone tools. So hold shift and select those. Go to lifetime and put those to all frames. So don't forget to do that. Okay. So there it is. So basically, all you really got to do is just look at the node graph tree and it really is just your first roto is what you want inside to be rotoed out. And what you don't want rotoed out in your tree is this door and this wall. This stand right here and that toilet. You can do you can go more if you want, but and just I'll show you what the tree looks like. So here it is. A lot of pre molts. So here's your floor, right wall, left wall, and here's that front wall right there. Here's that door. Here's a cube for that. And then I, I grab the toilet. You can bring it in right through here. You can go through a read geo right there. So that will read any like um, OBJ object. So you can bring it in as long as it's you can model it in Maya and bring it right in there. This is just a quick and cheap, dirty way to turn a flat 2D image into a 3D image for a client who maybe has a, a picture or something he has um, in his movie that he wants to turn into like a 3D for a, a quick and dirty uh, shot. All right. So I am David Scanlon at Slappy Studios, and I'm out.